So, so guys, do you have uh, developer edition login with you? Like this, like this organization. Do you have? Or can I uh, explain the things? How how to get this one for free? Yeah, I have, but uh, please explain one second so that he can. Okay, fine. So I'm explaining about how to get free developer edition, right? For personal use. Okay. Developer dot sports dot com. This is the site. So there you need to sign up for the first time. Okay, new email ID. Okay, there at the top right side. Okay, we have the sign up option. <laughs> mm. So here, enter your name, first name, last name, okay, email address. This should be unique email address, right? Mm -hmm. So after that, your role, developer, mention here developer itself, okay? okay. Coming to company details. Enter your company name. It is also optional, no problem. After that, country, postal code, username. Okay, this is the username with which you are uh, every time log in in your Salesforce CR. Okay, like for example, I can say. Madhu at the red, his company name, okay, mm -hmm. company name dot com, okay, this would be the username for that user, and after that, check here, and it will, uh, you know, create one developer version for you. You will get one email address to reset the password. After resetting, you can use, uh, you can log in with this username and the password. Okay, and if you want any uh, additional security, you can mention your mobile number so that uh, for every new IP, uh, you know, you will get one message containing the pin so that it will enter into the. That that is about the you know getting a free developer edition for you. Okay. So coming to actual session today, I gonna discuss about Salesforce apps. Okay. How to create? How to create apps? Okay, what are the ways to create applications in Salesforce? Okay, apps is acronym for applications, right? In Salesforce, we call application as app. app. So mm -hmm. there are two ways to create applications in Salesforce. Two ways. One is using Quick Start, Quick Start app button. And second one is by using 
new application button okay so when you are uh, creating your application using this quick start app menu it will not only build an application for you not only creates creates application application in addition to that okay in addition to creation of application it will create it will take care about it will take care about creation of okay object yeah okay and basic security settings security settings for the application right for the app so coming to new app button so this is the button uh, you need to manually create each and everything that is app object fields tabs okay you need to you need to create manually manually each and everything everything like it will allows you only create to create application so here new app button creates only there's only a new app new app in salesforce so let me okay go through these two concepts right let me explain this thing so before that i am deleting uh, you know few applications to meet the governor limits in salesforce we have the concept governor limits it will take care about each and everything what is happening in salesforce so uh, that means within the limit it is going on or not okay that means for every edition we have some limitations for every user we have some limitations whether user is within the limit within the range or not okay whether he is crossing the limit it will check while we are doing everything in salesforce so as i have already reached my limitation again i am going to delete one application these are my applications in salesforce okay I'm deleting one application. <coughs> but initially, when we create a new app, automatically some field should be some default field should be come, right? Yeah, yeah. Sinvas? Yeah, that's what I told you, na. Mm -hmm. Indirectly, I told you creation of object. Okay. it will take okay. care about creation of object object mm -hmm. will have some uh, standard fields on it okay 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 i accept it so this is the button quick start okay here i am giving the app label so sample app i'm giving coming to here this is the object label object is nothing but database table okay so for the user visibility we will give some label and it will automatically generates one api name for the back end database purpose right so here i'm giving sample object this would be you know, my object name and this is the name for tab okay, okay. So before 
going to start. Let me explain the, the definitions. Okay. Mm -hmm. App in Salesforce is nothing but it is the group of objects. It is the group of objects. Okay. To do some meaningful action. Meaningful action. Or every application in Salesforce, you know, it is having some uh, <coughs> it is doing some performance, okay, by using the collection of objects. Right? Okay. Coming to object, it is the okay, uh, just like database table, just like DB table, okay. So it will you know, uh, carry carry some record. And values and so it will be saved as a in a object. Fine. Okay. Coming to tab. Okay. So we have the database table that is object, and we need to uh, access that table. So we don't have the interface, but that this this will act as an interface between object and the user. Fine. Mm -hmm. So this is the interface. This is the interface between user and <coughs> database table. Fine. It helps user. It helps user to access. DB table, DB table, on the purpose of for the purpose of saving records, saving records, accessing or modifying them. Fine. So this is about the three main concepts in Salesforce. Those are application, object, and tab. Okay, application. You know, uh, it is a group of objects. Object is nothing, nothing but a database table. It holds the records. Okay, record is nothing but collection of fields and values. So coming to tab, it is the interface. Okay, by uh, using which we can access the DB table, that is object for the purpose of saving records, accessing and if you want to modify them. Okay. So, okay. so here I am giving the tab name. Plural label is nothing but in this case tab name. So I am sample. Here you can know, this is the preview what is going to happen. So in the you know this is the sample application going to be created and which is having these many objects. Fine. Right? Home is the default, you know, uh, standard thing and these are optional. We can we can append or we can remove from this application later on. For now, these are also, you know, by default, these uh, objects are getting added to my sample app. So here is my, you know, interface between the user and the sample object database. 
okay table and this is the sample object going to be created so i am clicking create and it will take me to the new application that is sample app go to my app <coughs> So now, here we are on the sample app and right side you can observe this is the app menu. Okay. So here home, charter, files, reports, dashboards. Okay, reports, dashboards, files, charter are the other objects. Okay. So coming to sample tab, this is the you know a tab which relating sample object in the back end. That means when I click here, that means I am on the sample object. I am accessing the sample object. So here I am clicking all data. I am checking all data. Here you can observe sample object name. This is one of the field one of the standard fields that created along with the creation of sample object object okay so let's look at the you know what are the remaining other standard fields so while creating while creating object in salesforce There are few, there are few standard fields. Fields that are automatically created. Created. Fine. Those are name owner last modified okay. created by last modified date created so these are the Six standard fields. Okay, uh, these will automatically create it at the time when we are creating a object. So by default, okay, when you are creating application using Quick Start, uh, name name field will be created of type text. Okay. Text. So actually we have, we can modify this name field, okay, auto number, auto number, so we can select either text or auto number, so by default at the time creating application using quick start, okay. one object will be gets created and in that object, the name field will be having text by default. So here you can observe here the name field created okay name field prefixed by object name so I'm clicking on sample tab and trying to create a new record by using the new option. So here you can see this is the text box as this is of the text type, it is asking me to enter some text. Okay. Sample record. I can either uh, click on save or I can use save and new. 
Okay, it will when I click save and new, it will again okay, uh, land me on this page only for the creation of new record. One more record. Okay. So this is the unique value. Uh, you are not allowed to enter. I think not this one. This is only mandate value, not unique value. Okay. That means you should enter some details, not blank. Make it blank. I can give any details like ABC. So it allows user to input alphanumeric details that may be text or numbers. Okay. So in my uh, database, how many records we have till now? Can anyone guess, please? One record. Three records actually. I have created three records. So when I am accessing my database table by clicking a tab, it shows me three records. Okay. Two times I have created sample record and ABC I have created, right? So if I can access this record, what it will show? It will show six details for me. You can observe here. This is the detail. This is the detail page we are on. So it is having six details actually. This is one detail. Okay, name. This is nothing but my name field. Okay. okay. And coming to where is owner? This is the owner. This is the owner details. Last modified by, last modified by, this is the, again, user record, last modified by whom, okay, question mark, created by, created by, again, user record, created by whom, last modified date, this is the instance of, uh, you know, last modified, created date. This is the instance of creation of this particular record. So for every time editing this record, last modified date will change. Okay. For every time editing or updating this particular record, this value gets updated. Okay. But but not this. This is the static one. Okay. Uh, this will remain same until and unless we have this record. Okay. So that is about the you know uh, record details and uh, creation of application using quick start option and also we uh, saw about object and tab okay so coming to the second scenario using which we will do all the things manually okay this is one scenario. So coming to second scenario of creation of application in Salesforce, right? That is using new button. So this is the path of creation application. First we need to click on setup. Setup may be, you know, existing on the uh, beside username in your organization or you may get the setup option under your username. Maybe here you may get. Okay. So that, that thing I have customized previously. 
So that's why I'm having set up these are my username, right? There is no confusion. Just click on setup. Here on the left side, uh, this we call as setup menu option. We call as setup menu options. We have administer, build, deploy, monitor, everything. These are the menu options. Okay. Go to build, expand, create. Okay, this is the way to expand the options. So click on apps. Uh, here there are the, uh, these are the list of applications in Salesforce organization. So these are the you know, uh, combination of standard applications as well as custom applications. Whatever the things we are doing in Salesforce manually uh, or newly, those things are called as custom things. Okay, that may be application, object, tab, all those things will be called as custom app, custom object, custom tab custom field everything okay so here again let me uh, delete one more application I'm deleting this one so this is the button using which we are going to do creation of application in second scenario. Here, this is the first step where we will select the type of application we are going to create. Salesforce allows two types of application that is custom app, the default CRM applications, what we are, you know, what we are having here, all those are comes under custom app type. Okay, coming to console app, this is a special case of application. Okay, then we are accessing the records from this application, like we are doing in you know uh, sample object. So when I click on a particular record. It will open in a new web page. Okay. Not like custom app. Let me explain you. When I click this ABC, so yeah, this is custom application. You know. So we have. Uh, this object on this page is itself, right? At any new tab or new window. Coming to console app, it is the property to navigate between records. It will open, okay, for every new click, it will now open in a new tab. Not like this, okay? I am opening this in a new tab for your uh, understanding purpose. But on this screen itself, on this screen itself, we will have this uh, details on a new tab. Okay. So that is about console application. Okay. Two types of apps we have. Custom console, custom app. It is just like, just like 
It is special application app that used for building support app. Support support apps. If you if you are aware about remedy apps, remedy application. No, so sir, this no. is you know. Sorry. Do you have any queries, Nagendra? No, no, sir. Okay. So, if you are about aware about this remedy application, so actually this remedy application is a uh, application of type console. Okay. It helps user to navigate between records. It helps user navigate between records open records fine so we are going to create custom map Click next we are giving the application name table name and as well as app name. App name is nothing but database name that is API name and label name is whatever the you know user is viewing in the CRF. So this I am giving okay. app. Okay. API names does not contain any uh, spaces between blank space between the uh, words or characters. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why it is filled with underscore. You can give the description. This is demo. Okay. In the list of applications. You will get this description. What is the purpose of? having that application and here you can customize your application logo uh, for this sample application the logo is this one Salesforce Exchange this is the logo okay And in. Okay. So this should satisfy the the image should satisfy the properties. <laughs> like it should have you know below twenty or thirty in size. 20 KB, okay, smaller than 20 KB should have and also width and height 300 pixel and this is okay. With that dimension or size, you can insert any application logo, okay. For now, I am not having any uh, image with this configuration so I'm not doing after this session so please create one application manually using this step by step procedure and create one logo okay okay that is for your practice here are the list of tabs available tabs in Salesforce okay I have already created and some out of the box tabs we have so you can pick them for your application, okay? Like as we have charter files, 
course dashboards okay okay or else you can just you know have this home tab so for now i am not taking any one or else i can take reports dashboards reports dashboards i am taking so when I click this application, okay, by default, uh, it will open reports tab. Okay, for that I need to configure this on default landing tab using this option. I can configure the tab. Okay. So what is the you know purpose of having default landing tab? Uh, so you know your screen got stuck in. Okay. Hello. Let, let me check. Okay. Okay. Now it's fine. Fine now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's This is the second. Again, let me come from. This is the first step of creation of application custom app in Salesforce. So I am selecting custom app. Okay. After that, okay. clicking next. I already explained the things with you. So I have given app label. This is the you know. Uh, for listing on app menu okay this okay. new application will be listed as demo app okay fine okay. so and this description will help you know to know about what is going to be done using this particular application and this is the database name this we call as API name so later on we will come to know what are API names and this is the area of where we can insert logo so here this is the logo for my sample app okay this thing you can customize using the instructions for the particular image okay so clicking next here available tabs in Salesforce uh, combination of standard as well as custom tabs so for this new application I'm going to take reports dashboards okay like this like this way I have taken so when I select this application that is a demo app I'm going to create uh, by default it should be landed on a reports object okay that can be done using this default landing tab so when I select home it will open home page when I select reports it will open reports so I'm selecting reports or else I can take dashboards okay fine I'm taking dashboards here this is the you know security area so which profile should have the visibility for this application okay so we are giving visibility when you click here that means for everyone it will be checked okay we have different different profiles in Salesforce so we will see about each and everything and what is the purpose of having profile. Okay. No need to check this default one. Now the application gets created. Where we can access the application? 
how to access the new application by using okay. this app menu <coughs> from app menu go through the application and select click on the application okay fine so because dashboards is the you know uh, set for uh, default landing app and I select this application so my default area landing area is dashboards okay. so this is about creation of application okay <clears throat> I have created one application created one app okay using object here you can have sorry using new button okay Right. Uh, later later you on, if you want to change the, uh, see one thing. Later on, if you want to change the uh, land area, where we have to go? Okay. So, first of all, you need to go for list of application. Okay. Set up. Under build, expand, create. Click on apps. Okay. Find out the application. This is the application. We want to modify okay. the default landing tab. Here either you can use edit or you can just click on this one. Okay. Uh, here you can see the default landing tab. Okay. Yeah, that one. I'm putting home. home. Clicking save. So let's see what will happen. Then I'm selecting. After that, demo. Again, there is no different. I already have the home, home page, home tab. Fine. Okay, fine. So, <coughs> you can observe here only application gets created using this new button. No new object, custom object. No new tab for that. Yeah custom object. We will create tabs only for the objects. Fine? Okay. So that thing we need to do manually. I'm going to create new custom object. Set up. Under build again. Expand create. Objects. Click on object. Okay, these are the list of objects in Salesforce organization. So I am clicking new custom object. I can create objects in two ways. Okay, that is by using a new custom object like this or I can use another method that is schema builder. Okay. So here I am doing object name sample object. Okay, this is the tab name. Total label is nothing but tab name. And here object name is nothing but database name. Okay, backend database name. Okay. API name, right? 
example objects okay plural name and later on at the time creating tab okay you should select this tab from the list of objects those are not having the tabs okay description you can give okay you can give and this is the help text setting okay this is set to salesforce.com help okay when uh, when we are on the uh, object details page there will be one help symbol at the top right side okay having some link so when click on that link standard sales for stock or if you having any uh, visual force page in your organization so <laughs> manually you need to create you can link with that you know help text your visual force page or s yes, control also you know, uh, just like visual force page but not uh, that much advanced. Okay. Oh, I'm not doing anything. I'm just keeping uh, Salesforce.com help. No? This is the record name. Standard field that is name. Name field. You can customize the name for that uh, field. By default, it is prefixed with object name. So, and also it is having text. Okay. You can change this to auto number if you want. Okay. So, for this, as I already, uh, you know, familiar with this text field, I am selecting auto number. record number record number so here rec okay starting with zero zero so that means it is the auto number type field it will automatically generate a number okay prefixed with rec dash okay mm -hmm. the num after this what number will gets generated the number should starting with double zero double zero so additional features optional features uh, it allows reporting activities uh, these things you can uh, configure later also. Okay. No need to check those things now. All of sharing, all these are related to security issues. Bulk API access. Okay. Bulk API allows you uh, to load many records. To Salesforce or to export records outside third-party applications or Excel sheets like that. So let it be. Coming to deployment state, this is the important thing here. So when you are keeping this uh, in development mode, that means no one in the production area, okay, no user in the production area can access or can view this until and until and unless he is having the administrator permission right okay. so when you are deploying when you are when you have selected this option deployed status that means you are releasing to public you have created after creating this creating this application or object so 
all users in the organization can able to access it according to their level of <coughs> worry about coming to object creation objects uh, options that means add nodes attachments okay you can add, add some nodes or you can add some attachment files to this record object related record and also when you click this option it will ask you to create custom tab after done this task okay custom tab is very important so if you want to create custom tab now now itself after creating this custom object or you will do that later time okay if you uncheck it will just create one object for you okay so if you check and uh, click on save it will take you to the creation of custom tab for this particular object so i am unchecking this one and clicking save so my object gets created with this name this is the object name and this is the plural name that i can see at the time creating custom tab for this particular object so how that can be done go to setup under build expand create click on tabs i'm clicking in here clicking to open in a new window so here this is the custom tab list of custom tabs okay it is not having any uh, standard tabs okay here you need to select list of objects those are not having custom tabs for it selecting the object after that tab tab style you need to select okay all these are styles tab styles in salesforce this is the link when click here only those not used for other objects okay only those styles using for the first time will be displayed so if i select this one the particular icon will be displayed the object name will be having this color you can give the description just click new next and here you are setting the visibility for this you profiles if you want you can customize this one or by default you can apply default on for every profile okay default on default off tab then okay so these are the settings like default on means uh, when user is accessing the particular application this tab will be by default it will be on on state okay off means it will be just like you know hidden there is no much difference between uh, this default off or tab hidden so if you want to hide the tab you can select any one of them click next and here for which you know application you want to include this tab 
I have unchecked all the you know things and I'm going for demo app for demo app only I should have this tab that is the thing so here you can observe for demo app this tab gets attached having sample objects plural, plural name as the tab name when click this one and click to create a new record there is no field to enter data okay why because I have selected auto number for the name record, name field also so when I click save it will uh, create a new record for me without taking any input right so here you can observe this is the name field that I have customized as a record number and as it is auto number type okay this also I have customized and the number should be starting with double zero double zero so when I am trying to create another record by clicking new okay one more record gets created third record gets created fourth record gets created so in my object now there are four records fine so having uh, record number as double zero double zero double zero zero one zero two zero three this is you know because the auto number property okay uh, fine Nagendra and Madhu so I hope you understand this session so I will send this uh, video with you okay please do practice every day whatever we discussed in this session okay so that we can discuss any doubts in the next session before starting fine okay so no. sure. tomorrow is the same eight o'clock same time okay I okay. hope you are comfortable with this timings fine yeah yes yeah thank you okay otherwise